All right, everyone, welcome back to another series of Mike on the Move. I am Mike, and we're checking out Muir Woods with my family. Say hello. Hello. And so we're going to check out Muir Woods. It's my first time here, and we're wearing a mask because it's still COVID times. Let's check out this park. Well, hello everybody. Today I am checking out Muir Woods National Forest, which is only 16 miles north of San Francisco in Marin County. So if you are visiting the Bay Area, I highly recommend you make time to visit Muir Woods National Monument. Muir Woods is part of the Golden Gate National Recreation Area and is managed by the U.S. National Park Service and named after a naturalist, John Muir. So this monument or park includes over 240 acres of old growth coastal redwood forest. And sadly, this is one of the few remaining forests in the Bay Area. So getting to the park can be a bit tricky with its very curvy and steep mountain drive. Just take it slow and steady, you'll get there. An important note to recognize is that parking must be reserved in advance to your visit to the park. Make sure you book your parking in advance or else they will turn you away. These folks here will turn you away. And because I booked my reservation for parking in advance, I was given what I like to call VIP parking. I got a parking spot for my vehicle right in the first lot entering the park. So once parked, you can make your way over to the entrance, but make sure to check out all the interesting facts and displays along the way, including a park ranger doing some talks, and of course, if you needed, a quick restroom break too. So what did they give us here? So we paid, we paid, we got four tickets. Anyone under 12 is free, but for adults, about 15 bucks. So we got four tickets for adults, and they give you a little map for the park. And it looks just like this. Get some information about the redwoods and a map of the hiking trail. Let's go. Now that we have our trail maps, we are officially making our way into Muir Woods National Monument. So after passing the main entrance, you officially are now on the main trail. I like to refer to the main trail as the boardwalk. Now the boardwalk is a very cool, pleasant pathway to check out the forest because it's wide and clean, making it easy for anyone across all ages, young and old, to really appreciate this monument. So this park offers a variety of hiking and walking opportunities for everybody. You can find short and long trails here. Now, if this is your first time checking out the park, I highly recommend you start your day on the main trail. It's only a little over a mile in length. However, the main trail will provide you highlights of what the park has to offer, including four different bridges and some highlights like Bohemian Grove, Founders Grove, Cathedral Grove. Now, don't forget your camera because photo opportunities are endless while you're visiting the park. So as you can see here, I am visiting the park with my sister, my nephew, and my niece, and they are truly enjoying themselves. Luckily for me, because there is no cell phone service in the park. And we hit bridge number four. Okay. All right, everybody. So we reached our fourth bridge. And so in order to go back, I can either go back the route I came or do a loop. Let's check this out. So once you reached the fourth bridge, you have completed the main trail one way. 
and so you can either go back in which you came from or carry on and check out the hillside trail. This trail is unpaved so walking shoes are needed. It will loop back to the main entrance eventually completing a two mile loop. So the great thing about the hillside trail is that it is higher in elevation, allowing you to walk above the grove, getting a different experience of this park while you make your way back to the trailhead. So we made it back, uh, we completed the hillside trail loop back to the entrance and say hello to my mom, that's my mother right there who just finished the trail with us. And just a reminder, more challenging trails are available for those who want them. After our hike, we stopped by the visitor center to check out the restrooms, get some snacks and some gifts at the gift shop. Well, there you have it, folks. This is my experience checking out Muir Woods National Monument. And I hope it was useful and helpful for you as you plan your next trip, checking out the Bay Area and making Muir Woods National Monument a destination for your trip. Now, before you go, please make sure to subscribe to Mike on the Move so I can keep you posted on my latest videos and adventures. I hope you all doing well, staying safe, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.